What's up friends and welcome to today's video. I know it looks like I'm naked, but I am not. Welcome to today's video guys. We are doing a full day of eating today and I haven't done one of these in a while, but I don't know. I've just been feeling a little bit slightly more inspired to video lately. And we're just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna like roll with the feels of like being excited to vlog for you guys. And some days I do, some days I don't, but today I do. So I feel like I talk to you guys and I'm not looking at you, but I am looking for my keys because um, Emma is coming to film some of the full day of eating and I don't never know where my fucking keys are. What did I do with them? Ah, here they are. I found them. Okay, let's go get Emma. And then Emma is going to be the first guest of the day, and then the second guest of the day is coming in like, I don't know, 10 minutes. And since it's a full day of eating and I'm like waiting for Emma to come, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, it's fine. <laughs> Actually not that hungry. I've been eating intuitively, which just means I'm eating what I like, I'm not tracking anything, I haven't really gained any weight since I uh, ended my cut. Not that I was like very lean or anything along those lines, but I've just been eating how much I feel and what I feel I want. It's something really new for me, so I'm practicing. Um, somebody in my last video said that I wasn't explaining intuitive eating in the correct way, and I imagine that I'm not because uh, I'm new to it and my mind is tainted with diet style of thinking of eating, and I'm working on it. I'm not an expert yet. I'm getting there though. friends Morning. welcome hello what's up it's raining you look it so like <laughs> what's up guys marie's here this morning for a podcast good morning morning i got some stuff from thrive market and thrive market is like whole foods meets costco but it's online they sell like these organic natural products online and they cut out the middleman so for their members it's cheaper to purchase their them everything from thrive market than it is to go to say like a whole foods or a sprouts or uh, a natural food store or something along those lines because they're more expensive there they have to have a middleman but thrive market just cuts that out so it makes it cheaper for the member and then it also donates a membership to teachers veterans and underprivileged families so those people can get access to thrive market products organic natural products which is really awesome and make it really accessible to be healthy so i love thrive market so so much and i want to make sure i get this promo right because it's a couple different things that y'all get $15 off of your first four orders. So that's like four orders that you can get $15 off of and free shipping for all those orders and a 30 day free trial. You can use the promo code Amanda if you wanna get stuff from Thrive Market. Today I'm using thick rolled oats and I wanted to get thick ones. I usually use this like better oats locale packets but I really wanna, I like, I'm intrigued by cooking thick oats and I'm also gonna, Top it with Nutso organic peanut butter. I love this peanut butter. It's not super sweet. It's made with different kinds of nuts. Almonds, cashews, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, chocolate, and sea salt. So good. It's delicious. Um, you can get this on Thrive Market too. And I'm gonna be adding my favorite protein in the whole entire world. It's like, if you guys have been following me forever, you know that my protein flavor has <laughs> advanced slash molded and changed over the years. But this is my current favorite, the vegan. Um, vanilla is really good. I really like the chocolate, but it was out of stock when I ordered it, but we just ordered it again. Peanut butter is really good too, but they're all really good. Honestly, I love the vegan in general because it makes my stomach feel better. If anybody has issues digesting whey protein, this is really great for you. And then obviously if you are a vegan, this actually tastes really good. So I'm gonna be using a scoop of this in my oatmeal. Go. <laughs> I'm very ladylike when I eat. It's really good. And then we both have cut out sweatshirts <laughs> and gray. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Bucci Radio. Today's special guest on the show is one of my best friends, Marie Wald, not Wald, it's Wald, W-O-L-D. And Marie's experienced a lot of hardship that has just been like interwoven into her fitness journey on YouTube over the last couple of years for the whole world to see. But today we're gonna dive deeper into who Marie really is, what she's gone through and how it's affected her personally and how it can help you in your own fitness journey as well. My childhood was probably pretty like ideal 
from looking looking from the outside in. I did grow up with an autoimmune disease called linear scleroderma, and that was like a big hardship for my family. That was a big thing that I struggled with, um, like health-wise, appearance-wise. Um, I was bullied for that, and there's been a lot of hardship. There's been a lot of struggle and a lot of just like insecurity and doubt and all that stuff, but I'm really like coming to terms with that and realizing how much that stuff brings you to who you are today and like your strength comes from your struggles. Yeah, my story is interesting, but not unlike everyone else's. Everyone has their own struggles and things to overcome. So. Well, I can't wait to dive into this yeah. a little bit more. Okay, so in the middle of this full day of eating, I actually just got a Amazon package to my apartment and I ordered the 90 degree reflex leggings on Amazon. Apparently, like I have no idea. I haven't watched anybody else's reviews. Like I just heard of these on social media somewhere. But apparently these $20 leggings are similar to these $120 leggings from Lululemon. And like I have these in a lot of colors, like a lot of, a lot of colors. <laughs> just cause I really like them. They fit so well. They have this like naked sensation of the fabric and they just like hold you in. I like how high waisted they are. I have like a small waist and really big legs and like no other legging gets the gets it like they just don't get it because they don't fit the right way and they always feel like uncomfortable in some sort of spot they're either too tight here and too loose here or, like one or the other um but these are just absolutely perfect and that's why i have so many of them because i go to the gym five six days a week and i need to <laughs> have leggings that i like because otherwise we all know how shitty it feels to just work out in something that isn't flattering and doesn't feel comfortable and like we have to be able to like move around and feel really good and depending on your body type you have to have leggings that work for that so these work for me but apparently these are let me like open these up apparently these are like the the cheaper version but they're just as good i don't know we're gonna find out oh i ordered like the same color <laughs> we're gonna find out right now so i tried these on they're pretty similar color similar like cut definitely not a similar feel like immediately i pulled them out of the bag and the fabric wasn't the same not that I was like expecting it to be like magically equal to Lululemon, but they don't come up as high like they're just like a Slight like I have to like really yank them up to like come over my belly button, which is fine if you like camel toe I guess. <laughs> and Yeah, they're just like not as tight around the waist which for me is like a huge no-no because It's just really uncomfortable when I'm like walking around and working out fabric is like be basic it's fine but it's not anything fancy so I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't not recommend them but they are totally not replacing my <laughs> but they are really cheap so if you're looking for like a cheap brand that as a similar style I wouldn't say like they're equal at all but they're definitely like a solid alternative if you're looking for something a little lower priced um, I just haven't found anything that matches the quality and like the feel for me and like if I'm walking around the gym and I don't feel comfortable in what I'm wearing. I just don't want to be there. And it just makes me feel kind of yucky. And like, I know that I could feel a little bit better about what I'm wearing and how it fits me. So that's it. But I'm going to put my LN pants back on. <laughs> so it's about two, it's almost 2 PM. And I had breakfast at nine was oatmeal. And I didn't realize how hungry I was. And we we're just like, let's go work out. And then I was like, wait, I haven't eaten yet. So Emma and I are going to split this cookie. It's about 29 carb eight protein and seven fat. I think it's less protein, because I think they got like, there was something where there, it's, it came out that there was actually less protein, but it's okay. Um, I just need some carbs and fats, seven here, and we're gonna split this. And I'm gonna take some pre-workout, because I'm a little tired. And this is Prolific from PE Science, Melonberry Twist, it's a new flavor. It's probably the best flavor that they have. They've came out with it recently. It's delish. And I usually just take my pre-workout as a powdered shot because I don't like wasting cups <laughs> on just a scoop of pre-workout. What's up guys and welcome to this workout and you will notice very quickly that this workout isn't actually a workout. So what I really wanted to do today was actually go into the gym and do some mobility work. I usually like to do it before I work out but sometimes every few weeks there are those weeks where I just kind of forget about it and I don't do it before I actually work out and then it builds up. Give me a like if that is you too. It's something that we all should really be prioritizing so every once in a while I'll like to go in and just do one of these days and just have it like be 
a separate working day of just my going into the gym and doing it. So I like to start off with doing some stretching. This is a really great time to actually do some stretching and um, hip mobility work before your workout, doing anything more than stretching, um, static stretching for 10 seconds or more is not really going to benefit your workout. So doing a full separate day is actually really great. So as you see me here, now I'm doing some supermans here and um, I'm doing lots of like this is a bird dog one of the best things you can possibly do to warm up um, hip core stabilizer hip stabilizer all of that stuff it's really really great and I'm doing a lot of hip mobility work here so I'm also doing some cat cow stretches this is like one of my favorites really bring your belly button in and then really like push down on your lower back and have that really big exaggeration in your lower back and bring your belly button into your spine same thing with this one bring your belly button all the way in and make sure your lower back is completely flat on the ground make your stomach look bad it's not the worst thing in the world so I'm doing some single leg glute bridges here just some regular glute bridges these are some of my favorite ways to warm up I'm also doing some frog pumps here check out Brett Contreras for information on those doing some side planks again just really working my core and just for some regular planks as well really tucking the hips underneath and here I'm doing some um, shoulder openers with the band. I love these just for some upper body warm-ups and I honestly like this thing took me probably a solid 30 minutes or so to do a couple of sets of each and I also did um, just like a couple workouts to really go some go slow here. So this is a goblet squat with a band. Um, I did three sets of like 10 or 12 here. Really not a whole lot. Not really a workout like I said but I just wanted to feel my body moving in a better way and open up my body in all different kinds of ways and not really focus on getting a pump or training for strength, just really focusing on moving my body in the correct movement patterns. And that really, really helps kind of just open everything up. So I did some lat pull downs. I did some single arm dumbbell press. I also did some, um, like, like I said, the goblet squats. I'm also going to be using the hyperextension machine here, and this one really, really is great with releasing my lower back tension. Um, so I would also, by the way, take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt and all the movements that I'm doing. Make sure you're uh, consulting a physical therapist or a chiropractor or a personal trainer for movement patterns and things that are, that are going to specifically help you to release any lower back pain you might have. It's going to look different on every single person, so make sure you're getting someone individually to look at you if that's something that you're feeling. Like, I was and I'm also doing some sled just walks here so I have the band around my hips and I'm just walking it's kind of like a slow burn type of cardio here so it's almost I like to equate this kind of cardio to doing sets of 10 squats it's awful it's not really intense but like the burn is really slow and you're still getting a pretty good workout the workout you, you guys just saw I did yesterday but it's gonna be the post-workout meal we're at Kava it's like Mediterranean Chipotle I got veggies pita crisps falafel balls and then this is <laughs> cabbage carrots cucumber rice is in here and brussels sprouts and just like a bunch of greens a bunch of veggies this is like by far my favorite restaurant that i've been to in the like i've been here like three times in the last week it's really good so if you guys have a cob near you check it out this is my post-workout meal <laughs> you want to get on that jesse diet cookie gang cookie dance Good. Okay, we just got back from Kava. Um, Zach, if you guys remember Zach, we did a video in January. It's funny, I was telling Brian like that was last, a really long time like, ago. Like December. Yeah. Anyways, if any of you guys remember his video, we like he made me this delicious red velvet cookie stuff crunch wrap. Crunch wrap. It was delicious, and he just made cookie vegan, vegan. cookie butter. It's still. I've been doing a vegan full day of eating. If you guys didn't know so far, but anyway, that's really good. It's like, yeah, what else? can you say what's in it or no? I can't really oh. know. No, no, know what's in it, but. <laughs> no. One of those things is proprietary. It's proprietary, but it's delicious. All right, y'all, it's the last meal of the day, and I'm having a dilemma because, number one, I can't get my tripod on this um, roll of paper towel to stay. I'm having a dilemma because all I really want is either a bowl of cereal and vegan protein or some oatmeal and vegan protein. And I already ate oatmeal and protein today. So that's not interesting, but not, 
I'm gonna do it anyway because that's what I want. But the real reason why people come to full day of eating videos or you're watching my full day of eating video right now is not necessarily because you need all of the meal ideas in the world, but if you're watching my full day of eating, you probably already know what I eat and you're just hoping that maybe I create something new and different, which I probably won't because I like what I like and that's it. Maybe maybe you got something out of the video today, but correct me if I'm wrong. The reason why people come to full day of eating videos for real is because they want to make sure that what they're doing isn't wrong. You're here for you. You're not here to see what I'm eating. So if you're here for you and for your own nutrition and to determine what is best for you to eat personally for your own goals, honestly, looking at other people's full day of eating videos and what their macros are can be helpful to an extent, but it's kind of like you're asking the wrong question. So asking the question of like, what's going to be best for me, what's going to be best for my goals, um, is going to be what's going to be the most optimal beneficial for you in general. So what I would recommend is take, take everything that everybody says and eats and how much to eat and what they do for with a grain of salt. I used to do if it's your macros, now I'm just doing intuitive eating and I'm eating kind of what I want, making sure that I feel full and happy and like I'm kind of choosing things that make my body feel good and don't make me bloated and you know, make sure that I'm getting my greens in and stuff like that. I have this green stuff and I had some green stuff earlier and I had some fruit earlier and just like things that make me feel really good. If you wanna be a vegan, be a vegan. If you want to track your macros, track your macros. If you don't, don't, but make sure that you're really making decisions based off of what feels go great to you at the time. There's so many informational videos out there. I have a ton of informational videos, but I think the biggest thing, reason that people come to full day eating videos is because they wanna learn what's best for them. And what's best for you is what you can stick to and what's best for you is what's going to make you feel incredible, perform incredibly. You know, that's, that's something that you can sustain long term. So that's my rant. I'm going to show you guys my meal right now that I'm having right here on the screen. Thank you guys for watching the video today. I super appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you check out Thrive Market if you haven't already. And whatever else I've eaten today, kava is so good. If you haven't had kava, try that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.